there, it's Olivia Savannah here from Olivia's Catastrophe and today we're doing something very special. Do you want to tell them what it is today? We're going to Berlin! Yes, so we are going to Berlin for New Year's. I'm here with my sister Simone. I'm also here with Mommy. Do you want to say hello? Hello! She's very focused on driving. And I know I said Turkey was the last holiday of the year, but surprise! So since you've last seen us, we have done some exploring. We had our first day and we had dinner and we wanted to go to the Christmas market that's in Kendermart, but it turned out that it was not there because of construction and I thought I was not gonna be able to go to a Christmas market, which was a shame because that was one of the things that I really wanted to do here in Germany. However, the day was saved because as we went to the cathedral the next day, which you've already seen, we found that the market that I wanted to go to had moved to there, so we were able to go in the evening, but we had a really nice day looking at the cathedral, which was really beautiful and majestic. There was a lot of organ music that was playing while we were there. Some was good, some was not as good, but it was a very nice way to spend the morning. And then after that, we went to Shakespeare and Sons, which is a bookshop and a bagel shop all in one, which I think was a pretty cool combination, which is why I wanted to go there. Unfortunately, it was not very wheelchair accessible. There were stairs to go in, and then there were not many seating places like on the ground level. You'd have to go up to check out more books and also to have more seating space. But nonetheless, it was nice to browse the books. There were a lot of Canongate books there, which is the publisher I work for, which was kind of nice to see and just browse the books a little bit. And chat about them and then we had bagels we took them away and I had a pumpkin bagel that had goat cheese and honey in it and it was really really nice and next door to the bagel shop was a really cute little donut place as soon as you walked in it smelled sugary sweet and I had a donut I can't tell you what flavor it is because the, the, the like the description of it was in German but it looked nice so I chose it and I thought it was a nice donut, not my favourite but a good donut. Can't go wrong with donuts and bagels. We came back and we've been watching the sequel to the Megan Follows version of Anne of Green Gables. Really enjoying it still. I do think I prefer this Gilbert to the Netflix Gilbert which is shocking me but having a good time. And yeah, after that we went to the Christmas market which was delightful. I bought soap, I stole slash bought a mug and I also, I also bought a Berlin candle holder. But aside from the lovely evening we had, I want to tell you what I'm currently reading, and that is You Made a Fool of Death with Your Beauty by Quakey and Mezzi. This is a book that I got for Christmas from my two older sisters, and this is the US version because it's so much prettier than what I believe is the ugly UK cover. 
It's a Kwaki Mezzi's romance novel and it follows Faye who is a widow and she's kind of learning to love, learning to open up again while also grieving. I think that's the best way I can describe it. And I am seven chapters in so far. I'm really loving it. I love a Kwaki Mezzi's writing style. The portrayal of grief is just perfect. It's so on point, it's so accurate. And I'm just having a very good time with this book. There's a lot of messiness. There's a lot of things that I don't l agree with personally, but it's a book and I don't need to agree with everything. So I'm still having a good time. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! <laughs> we just... Oh, go on, speak, go on, speak! <clears throat> and we just survived a war zone. No, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Okay, well, go on then, explain. Explain the war zone. There are little fires there everywhere. Little and, fires everywhere, that's a book. And there's, the people are setting off fireworks in the street as the cars pass by. You have to drive fast or you get hit by them. Just fire and people. Okay, so do you want to tell them about the good part of the no, year? Yeah. It was great. It was really fun. We went to this nice um, uh, place where people were, and there was a live band, and there was also dancing and a DJ, and we roasted marshmallows, and it was a lot of fun. Oh. Anyway, so. <laughs> Such an annoying older sister. We actually have not told you about the last few days, so. Yesterday we went, well actually now the day before yesterday we went to the Jewish Museum and that museum was just really impactful and I really recommend you go there. It, the architecture of the building was done in such a way that you really felt certain feelings and the emotional impact of everything that you're reading is really insightful and although there's history about Judaism that you can't ignore such as the Holocaust that's definitely in there there's also a lot about how Juda Judaism manifests in the present day but also like what the religion entails and what it really means and what it means as a heritage and a culture as well as a religion and I learned so much but of course it was also kind of heartbreaking being there so that was our entire morning and afternoon we spent about three hours there which was way longer than we expected to but that's just a testament to how four hours there which is just a testament to how good and effective it was then we came back watched more Anne of Green Gables the sequel and then we went out again to a different winter market to go and get dinner and it was really nice and we really like the German Christmas markets and then yesterday because it's new year what we did was we went on a walking tour of Berlin and it was kind of interesting because we'd seen quite a few of the sites because we've been here for a few days but it was just so insightful to get that history and get that information and there were some things that I knew because of history classes but then there were other things that I didn't know and it was also just all the more impactful to see the buildings and see the places that are being talked about at the same time so that was really insightful interesting I think Mummy and Simone both really enjoyed it yeah yeah, we did. Yeah, Had a very good tour guide. And then in the... What did we do after that? We came back and watched more Anne of Green Gables. As you can see, there's a trend here. Go somewhere, watch Anne of Green Gables, come back. We hunted for food, very difficult to find on New Year's Eve. And then we went out to, as Simone said, a really cosy, fun New Year's Eve party with drinks and live music, roasting marshmallows and... The place that we were at was just really nice because we went up to the roof and it was a panoramic view of all of the fireworks. Throughout and it, the city of Berlin. Throughout the city of Berlin. It just felt like there were fireworks on every single like parameter of Berlin and it was kind of beautiful and kind of amazing and I don't think the video footage does it justice. But as anybody, as Simone said, anybody can set off the fireworks and therefore driving back felt a bit intimidating because 
people were setting off fireworks in the street. People were setting off fireworks in the street. Sometimes not even ones that went vertical. They kind of went horizontal. And there were like fires burning from ones that had been abandoned. And it was a bit of a... I think my mum was a bit stressed driving back. But she did it because she is superwoman. And now we are very tired. We're going to have one last drink because my mum couldn't drink because she was driving. And then I think it's time for sleep and our last full day in Berlin. I would give you a reading update, but let's be real. I haven't read a single page in a few days now. And that is perfectly fine because although it may seem like I read every single day, the truth is I do not. So, as you can see, I'm back here in the Netherlands. We did our six hour drive back and I just wanted to give you a last reading update and a last update on a few things that we did. So one day we went to the East Side Berlin Wall, which is basically an art gallery now. And it was so interesting. We actually spent way longer there than we thought. We spent basically like hours, like half a day because we were walking along every single piece and like analyzing it and talking it through with each other, which was a lot of fun because it just became like an art gallery that was outside. And of course there was a lot of history behind it which was nice to learn from the little points that they had. We had lunch in a cute cafe before we walked back along the wall and then we went home and we had an amazing dinner. It was a great dinner. We went to, I think it was called like Monsieur Vuong which is just, it was amazing Vietnamese food. I really just had the best pho and also just the best tea. It was delicious. I wish I could have tried one of the desserts but I was so full and it's well priced as well so if you're in Berlin or visiting I definitely recommend that place and we also finished watching Anne of Green Gables the sequel and I actually finished reading Anne of the Island <laughs> a bit before we finished off the sequel so I knew what was going to happen. That was so It was so suspenseful at a moment where we paused it and it was just a really sweet ending. I do think Anne of Green Gables is one of the longer slow burn friends to lovers that I've ever seen and it was just enthralling and I'm so happy with how that sequel ended and I'm looking forward to watching the third part of the Megan Follows version when I'm back in the Netherlands with my mom again because they're her DVDs and we kind of watch them together it's a thing that we do. Right before we went home we just stopped off at the memorial for murdered Jews which kind of had the same vibes as the Jewish Museum Holocaust section where it's all about making you feel the emotions, making you feel discombobulated, making you feel a bit lost in a maze and ask yourself the question of why and it was a very good memorial to go to and then we had the six hour drive back which was actually a lot of fun even more than the way there because I was just playing music and me and my mom and Simone were singing along can't read in a car so it was nice to be able to do that otherwise I'm just sitting there and Simone was kind of reading fanfic but also singing along in the back and it was just a lot of fun she's reading a fanfic I really enjoy right now and yeah so as for reading <sighs> updates as you can tell I finished Anne of the Island which is my first book of 2023. I got a bit further and you made a fall of death with your beauty but not that much further so I don't have any more updates to give you and I also started reading Les Mis because I am buddy reading that with Abby from Abby of Pelennor and we usually read one big chunky classic a year and we've started our buddy read of that. I've read the first like nine chapters since you're seeing this and it's been interesting so far I'm quite liking it it's easy to read but it is a big book it's slow paced so I feel like there's not really much to tell you other than the themes of like poor and wealthy and good and bad and all of those morals have already come in in the first few chapters already. Thank you for joining me for this vlog for Berlin and for welcoming in the new year and we'll see what travels this year brings. Please let me know in the comment section down below how did you spend new year, do you have any new year goals and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more and don't you forget to hit that notification bell to be updated every time I have a new video and you know what they say, onwards and upwards. Excelsior!